If you've done any work in the command line, then you have used ls a lot. This command, which stands for list files, is probably the one that I use the most just to see where I'm at, what I have, what's going on. But it doesn't list anything here except files and directories in your current working directory. And, you know, I can do something like ls minus al, which will give me uh, a different listing of the files and then also will show me hidden files so I can really see everything that is here. So we have some options with ls, but it doesn't show any structure of the directory. It doesn't show me the nested directories and how they relate to each other and so forth. Now we can do a recursive listing. So I could do ls minus r like this, and then I can now dig down into this and see what's there, but it's not really very useful. Even if I do ls minus capital R and then al, it's marginally useful, right? I still don't get the structure. I am now recursively going down into the subdirectories and seeing the files and the directories inside of those directories, but ah, it's not really that useful. Fortunately, we can use something called tree. Tree is a command or utility which is easily available via Homebrew or however else you install packages on your system. So let's do that. We'll do brew install tree. Now, while that is installing, the tree utility is a recursive directory listing command and it outputs a nested listing to reflect the file system structure of the directories and files. So this was originally developed for MS-DOS and then later ported to Unix and Unix-like systems like the one I'm on here on Mac OS. So what does it look like? So instead of running ls minus al or, or whatever, I'm in my project directory here for the downlink project and I can just run tree. And now you can see I get a nice listing of directories and files and then with lines drawn to show structure, how they relate to each other. And you can see it goes all the way down. There's one subdirectory, a sub sub, a sub sub sub, and then so forth, all the way down, all the way through the nesting. If we run tree help, we can see all of the options that we have for outputting the files and directories. So many things that you can do. You could take a combination of these and then alias them to something like TR if you wanted to use a variant of the tree command, but we have it all here. But I really like the ability just to run tree and see everything in my project directory in relation to itself. Now, if you don't want to install tree, there is the option of using a uh, find command and the print command and then piping that to sed or the stream editor and getting a similar output. So that would look like this. So find dot for current working directory and then print it. We're piping that to sed and then doing all sorts of uh, magic here in sed to do the line drawing based on whether it's a directory. So not the greatest, but the output is something like this, which is close, right? It's close. It's not quite, I don't think as nice, but it's close. And then you can uh, alias that to uh, the tree command. And then you basically have what you need. If you want to learn about aliases, I have a video here on craft quest about that. So that's tree. It's a great way of getting a little bit of insight into the directory and file structure of your project right from the command line. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.